Zebra Herd, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Today, we made our way back up to Akala because we have the East Akala Stable to check out. There were a few quests I wanted to do here. And on top of that, apparently we can meet Melania, the horse god here. I'm super curious about it. So I figured in today's episode, we'll just sort of explore this area and see what we can come across. Because we were initially running by here last episode because we were trying to help out Robbie in all of the Purapad quests. We now have a perfected Purapad, which will definitely make certain things interesting um, and more useful to get through. But I might just want to sleep through until it's daytime. Yeah, let's just sleep till morning and see if the, if the rain goes away. Just because it makes it easier to travel. But the first thing I wanted to do is that we talked to somebody over here before them. And they were saying that there's something to do over by that big tree. I figure that's what we'll focus on right now. So let me see if I can't find that side adventure. So it was the Gathering Pirates. Aya is worried that a group of monsters at North Akela Beach may come to threaten the stable. It seems like she won't really be really feel safe until every last one of the monsters has been dealt with. So that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. I'm gonna help out um, Aya here, just trying to feel a little bit more safe. We can definitely do that. So we just gotta run over this way. Apparently by this big tree, we can see them coming over. And I guess yeah, they're pirates, so they should be on a big boat over there. We might have actually passed them previously or like had a good look at them. Um, can I click any of this? Whoa, I got a razor shroom. And I activated some other stuff there. But, oh, I do see them. This giant uh, ship over this way. I guess we should just fly over if we can. It might be our best bet. I hope we can reach it. Um. Now that I'm flying over, I'm a little bit hesitant of that idea. Uh, I don't know if we'll actually reach it before we land in the water, which I guess even if we do, that's okay, because we'll just swim over. But yeah, we'll just try to get over to it. And I guess just defeat everybody that's on there. That, that seems like the best idea, right? Okay, we're almost there. There is some different little rocks over here too, if we wanted to. Might be a good idea, but I do see a ladder on the back end of it, so you know what? Let's charge this up as much as I can. Boom, got a great shot on them. That was actually really, really good. So if I could just swim over to this ladder, we should be safe. There we go. Now my stamina will go back up as we climb up here, and I probably want to get ready right now with some stronger weapons like our Silver Lysel Reaper. Going. And. Who are we fighting? There's a lot of enemies around here, like a whole bunch of them. So I think what I should do for right now is I should sneak down here, just try to be as quiet as I can, grab some of this stuff, switch to maybe even a, a, like the Steel Lysel Bow, and I see you with all of your armor over there. I wanna do something about that. Let's do it by most use so I can just be quick about this. And then as soon as you turn around, ready, and sooner or later, where'd they go? Right here, boom! And that's actually gonna send them off the side. Very useful for us. Somehow the other people didn't notice that. So, you know, I'll go for you. The monster forces now recognize me. Got it. I wanna go get that stuff, but I might just wanna wait for when it's safer, a better time to do it. Uh, but there are a lot of creatures over here, and it looks like a lot of them have not yet noticed me. But I think the water could definitely be our friend here. Knock a lot of these creatures in the water and they won't be able to do much before they get knocked out. Is there a monster up there? That's what I'm curious about. So let's try to climb up there and see. Yeah, we're just sort of keeping busy with all this fighting. I guess we'll have to knock out these flying creatures too, right? Let's see if that gets you. Ooh, not quite close enough. All right, I'll do that. Our uh, Silver Lysel Reaper is badly damaged, unfortunately. That didn't lower the meter, so maybe not. Ooh, here we go, here we go. Boom, do that and then activate that over there. Oh, that sends you flying almost off of the ship. I'm just gonna, boom, knock you over. See what other kind of things we have the choice of. I have a silver Boko Axe I can also break. Um, and then try for this other stuff. I got the spear. I can really just jab you down with something like this. You almost got your health figured out. One, two, three. Okay, that was good, good enough. So, grabbing all that for sure. Back over this way, they got this giant fire. Anything else happening up here? I can just climb all the way to the top real fast. Not too much up here, but I do see you. Oh, that was close. Boom, that's gonna get you good. And hopefully you'll drop all your stuff, right? I mean, you drop the soldier spell, which I don't need too much. There's more flying monsters coming at us. Did they drop any arrows up here? Yeah, they did, excellent, okay. Whoa, they are really close. Can get rid of you 
pretty easily. And then here, there's another one. Oh, wait, did I hit two at once there? What just happened? That was interesting. <laughs> I think one of my friends there must have hit one. Okay, but the scary part is definitely over here where we can use another bomb arrow and send a bunch of these guys just flying off the edge, right? Two of them, that's great. All right, so it's just all of these guys now we have to fight with the blue, um, whoa, the blue boss. Shouldn't be too bad. Do I have a picture of you, by the way? I do, okay, never mind. <laughs> keep going, keep going. That's it. We have defeated all the monster forces here on the pirate ship of Isagala. And look at that, we got the Gathering Pirates updated as well as a treasure chest. A lot of stuff going on there. So I guess first things first, we should break open these boxes that are around just for some extra goodies out of it, right? Get an extra arrow. If there's any kind of monster parts or anything like that we can find would probably be pretty useful. So I'll head up here. And here's the treasure chest we got for um, defeating them all. Very nice. We got the blue Hinox hammer. Whoa, a large sword, not a key. Of course, we've gotten stuff like this before, but I can grab another one. Now over this way, we got a lot of interesting stuff. And I haven't really been using my master sword too much. Let's change that right now. If I go ahead and fuse this, I get plus 15 damage. So that's something, it's so weird to me that it doesn't show the base damage still. I don't really know how that's supposed to work, but anyways, uh, heading over here. We're getting a lot more arrows and stuff, so it's definitely worth it to break these boxes open whenever I have the opportunity. And there is still some more enemies in the water over there, but I guess they don't count for some reason. Heading down here, look at all the goodies waiting for us. Okay, so I might wanna switch over to the swimming gear just straight away to make this whole situation easier. Got it. And then over here, I'll get that rock sledge. I'll probably wanna change it to be something else, but with our faster swimming, this is actually pretty easy to get to. There was some silver um, stuff, and there's a giant cube thing I'm still really curious about. I don't really know if we wanna tackle that today, but definitely sooner or later. Maybe I should get to that shrine though, just for the sake of it. We'll have to wait and see. For right now, I think we should focus on this, you know, keeping to doing everything we're doing at East Akala. I can get over. Oh, did it go away? It must have. I think I might have taken too long to get the silver stuff, because it is gone. All right, that's okay. I mean, we got everything cleared out here. According to the adventure log, you defeated every last one of the monsters staying at the North Akala Beach. Return to East Akala Stable and let Aya know that the monsters are gone. All right, so yeah, we'll go back to the shrine and we'll let Aya know everything we did. All right, we're making our way back to East Akala Stable where I can at least catch up with Aya. There's still some other things, stuff I need to do around here for sure, but oh, hello, another traveler. I want that treasure. Ooh. Hey, I know you. You're the fellow who showed the all-clucking cuckoo for what it was. A sham, a Yu clan trap. I would have stayed fooled if not for you, so thanks. Still, I couldn't help wondering if I if there might have been something to that prophecy. Now here I am, in Akala. Hmm. Have you ever heard of Misko's treasure? It's a collection of rare clothes gathered up and, and hidden away by the bandit Misko. Hmm. I'm fairly sure that a piece of treasure is tucked away in a cave here in Akala. You helped me out of a jam, so I'll tell you everything I know. If you're interested, just ask. Well, truth be told, I don't have any information to share. Wish I could say different. I heard tell that the, this pair of treasure hunting brothers might have a lead, but I went way out to the west cave near the Full Hill Stable to talk to them, and they still wouldn't tell me anything. That's why I plan to go, plan on going to East Kala Stable and making a wish to the horse god Belania. Maybe he can guide me. And that's exactly what we're here to do too. Isakala Stable is an establishment on the eastern edge of Hyrule. Sure, I might have been tricked into going, but I've always wanted to see what the Northeast had to offer. There's a joy in any journey, so long as you look. I agree. So we'll go catch up with Aya over here. It's only a matter of time. We wouldn't stand a chance against those monsters if they decided to attack the stable. Maybe I should look for a job somewhere else. South Akala Stable might have some openings. Don't worry, I defeated them. What, you defeated every last one of them? Hold on a second. It's not that I don't believe you, but I need to check for myself. It's the only way I'll sleep at night. <laughs> you aren't kidding. I can't believe it. There were so many monsters before, but now they're gone. <laughs> well, you're just amazing. I'm sorry, I'm just so surprised. I mean, you don't look all that strong. But you've been such a huge help. I can already feel the stress those monsters caused, caused leaving my body. Thank you. Hey, that reminds me. Do you have any a, a pony points card? I do. Uh, 
Let me just add two points for you to show my thanks. Ooh, so we're halfway to our next reward with that. And I'd like to give you this too. Endura car carrot, very nice. They're supposedly a favorite of the horse god Melania. He lives a short distance away from the stable, in fact. I would planned to ask him to help with my with the monsters and was going to give it to him as a gift. But now that the monsters have been handled, I'll give it to you instead. It's a really valuable carrot and it doesn't grow around here. Be careful not to accidentally eat it. Ah. Anyway, I should get back to work. Thanks for all your help. So there we go, the gathering pirates complete. Aya seemed relieved to learn that the monsters staying at North Akala Beach have been, had been dealt with. Hopefully the workers at the stable will be able to relax now. So if we talk to Aya again, what will she say? Ah. Thanks for sending those monsters packing. Now I'm right where I wanna be, back at my horse's side. Mm. The horses have been so patient. They waited the whole time for me to come back. After I'm done here, I'll treat them to a leisurely trot to South Akala Stable. Mm. Then again, I wouldn't want them to get scared by that picture of the rumored beast hanging there. Maybe it'd be better to go elsewhere. Rumored beast? Mm. Oh, the rumors about a strange beast are really making the rounds. Everyone talking about this creature. Ooh. My thoughts tend to dwell on the god of horses, not some rumored beast. But from what I've heard, the rumor is traveling among the stables. I'll admit I know nothing at all about this beast. There's a picture of it hung up at South Akala Stable, however, if you want to see what it looks like. I think we've been there, so. With the pirates gone, I've got a lot of work to catch up on. I wonder when I'll be able to take the horses for a walk. Anyways, let's catch up with you over here. Welcome to East Akala Stable. Thank you for supporting the Stable Association. Since this is your first time here, we'll add one point to your pony points. We need one more. Now then, once again, ah. welcome Link. Do you want to register a horse or take one out for a ride? How can I help? Uh, neither is fine for now. Oh, that's right. Did you meet Melania at Bloodleaf Lake to the north? I heard that if he takes, if he takes a liking to you, he can boost your horse's abilities or even bring your equine friend back to life. Sounds far-fetched, but it'd be fantastic if it's true. <laughs> How lucky would our stable be if a horse god like that decided to reside here? I can only imagine. All right, well, that's great to know. And over here, of course, we have the typical stable things. I think we'll go and take a nap here so that we can get our last pony point. And that way we can also refill our health, Ooh. which is sort of in need of being refilled. Welcome to the stable. Do you want to lodge with us? I do. So, of course, we'll do a Melania bed because we're right by Melania. If you sleep in Melania bed, not only will you wake up more energized, of course, you will share a mystical message. Okay, let's try it. Let's sleep till morning. Okay, rest well. Oh boy, I am Melania, the god of horses. In Southeast Farron, at Lakeside Stable, the Don Dons graze. These ancient creatures, the ancestors of horses, can make precious gems out of stones. The Don Dons? I don't know if I know about those. Interesting. All right, we're back. And we got our stamina and health Ooh. refilled with a bonus. Good morning, how are you? Did you hear a message? As thanks for lodging with us, we present one, you with one point. Cool, and with that, we have a reward available. Ah. Oh, it looks like you've got some points saved up, Link. If you wanna get your reward, step up to the side counter where I keep the ledger, then call me over. Ah. The headlines say that the Demon King is returning. I feel like I need to prepare for the worst, but what can I do? All right. So let's see, receive a reward. Uh, Hi. Ah, yes, I'll be right with you. Oh. You'd like to get your pony points reward, right? Oh. As a reward for 30 points, you can now register an additional horse. If there's a wild horse that catches your fancy, please bring it to us. If you save up just five more points, ah. Oh my, you'll be able to register an additional horse. We appreciate your patronage. Is it just gonna be additional horses from here on out? I guess we'll have to wait and see. But uh, for now, I'll talk to you over here. Let's see, what's in this issue of the Lucky Clover Gazette? Uh, what's the news? Inoboko unearths new purpose. Hmm. Marbled rock that had been affecting the Gorons has vanished. And Inoboko, who was responsible for digging it up, has announced a commitment to restoring Goron City. I hope that means they'll reopen their gem stores. <laughs> if I remember right, their prices were really, really good, like half normal price. Mm. There's so much to read in these newspapers. Other stories? Mm. Signs of a new weapon fad. Hmm, interesting. With weapons decaying all over the land, more and more people are embellishing their weapons with ores and or other items. Uh. Hmph. When the upheaval occurred, some of the strange gloom got on my brand new sword and caused it to decay. Mm. There's so much to read in these newspapers. Right, I'll leave you be. Come to think of it, the horse god is not far from the stable. You head behind this place and just keep going a while. Maybe I'll head there myself after I get more reading in here. 
interesting. And of course, we've got another recipe thing here. Saw it, wheat, and uh, meat. And what about this? We know about these. Ah, oh, Link, has that empty frame caught your eye? It has indeed. We stable owners are going to be putting paintings on display for everyone to enjoy. The stable association figured it'd be a good idea for us to hang the frames first to get ready. So, I did some thinking about what kind of picture I'd like to hang up. There's a big lake right to the south of here called Octorok Lake. It looks like any other lake at first glance, but when the water level rises, it takes the shape of a monster called an Octorok. That's how it got its name, I suppose. Anyway, I'd like to paint a picture of Octorok Lake when it looks like an Octorok and hang it on the wall. And who knows, with all the monsters showing up lately, maybe it'll help keep them away. The thing is, I can't exactly leave the stable unattended just to go paint the picture. But if I had a picture of Octorok Lake in, in its Octorok shape right in front of me, well, I'm sure I could paint it. Huh, a picture for East Akala Stable. Rudy, the owner of East Akala Stable, wants to hang a painting of Octorok Lake when it is in the shape of an Octorok. The lake located to the south of the stable looks like the monster known as an Octorok when the water rises. Maybe there's a way to take a picture of it and show it to Rudy. There definitely is. So I'm not sure what lake it means specifically. There's gotta be one of these. So I guess when the water rises, they might just take a different look to them. And one of them appears to be an Octorok. Maybe it's this one. I'll have to go look around a little bit more to find out, but I guess, or maybe, oh, it's this one. Okay, yeah, it doesn't currently look like an Octorok, but I guess the tide changes throughout the day. Anyways, with all of that done, there's not too much more to do here at the stable. I think I mostly just want to, it's a very powerful hammer. I wanna use one of these though. I just mostly wanna explore around here, see what else we can find. I know there is going to be another um, well to jump into before we go and find Melania. So also go to our map and mark this as the Korok, so I can do that later. And where was that well? That was right over here. Do I have a picture of these guys, the high on sheep? I do. Okay, let's hop into the East Akala Stable Well and see what we find. We're just sliding all the way down. And, no wait, I wanna jump. No, wrong way, there we go. Looks like pretty typical stuff so far, just a couple of, uh, what's it called over there? Um, fish, whatever the fish were called. Uh, but we will crouch through here. Whoa, okay, wait a minute. I wanna be ready for this one. Uh, it looks like we have a bunch of fairies here. So I definitely wanna equip maybe at least some more quiet gear if I have anything. We just got the Yiga clan gear, or at least part of it. So that should make me slightly more sneaky. Um, and then I guess besides that, maybe just try to move more quietly. I'd love to get a couple of fairies. They're so, so useful to have around. And then there's a shrine here, which I guess I could just use to activate some orbs if I, if I had enough of them. I think I only have three at the moment. So I'll probably have to let that be, but I got one of the fairies. I can just wait here a moment and maybe it'll just get closer to me. Or maybe it'll fly away. Come on, right over here. And got it. It almost flew away there. So let's go ahead and talk to you. See, so we can pray here if we needed to, but I don't think we have enough. Yeah, I only have three. Um, I can offer you great power. I don't have any sage wills, so. Yeah, we'll have to leave this for now, but I guess useful to know that it's here, if not anything else. Um, okay, nothing through there. So we will just raise our way back up, wherever it'll let me. Looks like right here's a good spot, and we'll go on our hunt to find Melania. I'm looking forward to it. Where are we? Uh, ended up farther, farther down the hill than I expected, or maybe farther up it? Oh, yeah. So let's get back over here and get started with trying to find Melania. There's you over here, strongest in the world. Mm -hmm. Hmm, that's an unusual weapon you have there. Where did you get it? Uh, it was a gift? <laughs> no kidding, who from? It's an excellent piece of work. I actually make weapons myself. I've been using all sorts of materials, trying to make the strongest weapon in the world. Tell me something, you ever heard of the monster they call Lionel? It's a huge beast with a body like a horse. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't believe how many times I've seen someone try to ride on a Lionel's back only to go flying. I actually spotted one of their kind northwest of here, near the entrance to Tempest Gulch. But I wasn't about to pick a fight with a monster like that. Strong, agile, and did I mention they can shoot fireballs? The best I could do was turn tail before it caught sight of me. If I could only get a hold of that Lionel's horn, I'm sure I could make the strongest weapon in the world. But I'm no fool. I know I haven't gotten the skill to take down a Lionel. <sighs> 
I just wish someone else would make the weapon of my dreams and show it to me. I'd give them a nice reward. Interesting, strongest in the world. You run into Chabi, who likes to make new weapons using all sorts of different materials. At Isakala Stable, she's determined, determined to make the strongest weapon in the world. She believes a weapon made with a Lionel horn would earn that title. Apparently, there is a Lionel near the entrance to Tempest Gulch. Interesting, so where is Tempest Gulch at exactly? Because maybe we'll do that after. I see Rockwood, Tempest Gulch, okay. I already have a marker here for some reason, Skull Lake over this, but there's so much to explore in this direction. So I guess if we continue following this path, we're supposed to be able to find Melania, right? I said it was north of the stable, maybe here at Bloodleaf Lake. Yeah, okay. I thought that maybe it would be this thing, because it sort of looks like a hoof, but I guess not a hoof print. All right, let's get going. We're gonna follow this path and hopefully run into Melania, the horse god. Somebody's already sort of walking along it, so I'll go catch up with them too. Uh. Hello. Care for, but oh, it's you again. Ooh. Welcome, good sir. Can I interest you in one of our world famous Melania buns? It's crispy on the outside and soft on the inside might even give you a little luck. And it's only 10 rupees. Uh, I already had one before, gotcha. If you change your mind, just come find me, okay? Will do. But in the meantime, we've already made it to Blood Leaf Lake. Just a couple of things to pick up, some Highland tomatoes and I guess a little place to sort of chill out. That's nice. But whoa, yeah, way down there. I guess that's what we're looking for, right? I do also see, no, 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 so many options. Uh, one of those. I guess I could probably climb up there and I gotta dive in. That's always the thing I mess up. I gotta press the actual dive button. But I should just be able to, from here. Yeah, there we go, perfect. We get ourselves another Quarox seat out of that one. I didn't need to actually press the dive button. I guess just at certain angles I do. Okay. Again, back up here, we'll continue our adventure. These things, I can't pick those up, okay. Um, I mean, I think that shouldn't be, like we saw the sparkle there as if it was a fairy, but it's definitely not a great fairy, so maybe that's Melania. I see this Octorok over here, the water Octorok. Maybe I'll just snipe them. They're the easiest ones to defeat because they're just sitting in the water like that, but uh, oh no, my stuff. I guess I should have just used Tulin and not even flown over, but uh, there we go. Got all that, let's keep moving. Okay, yeah, look at this thing. I'm so curious. So is this really going to be the horse god? Sort of an ominous stretch to reach it. Whoa. All right, we're almost there. And I guess I'll just Say hello. Anybody home? Someone, give it to me. Even one will do. Someone, please feed me an Endura carrot. Here you go. Ah, what a kind soul. Sort of a, a creepy hand. D -d Delicious. Whoa. Oh my. Ah. Whoa! This is Melania. Ho, 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 it was you, wasn't it? You're the one who gave me that Endura carrot. For so long, my stomach has been tor torturously empty. Thanks to you, I at last had the energy to emerge from my bud. You have my thanks. My name is Melania. I am the god who watches over the horses of this world. Grateful as I am that you fed me my first meal in so long, my appetite still is not satisfied. What shall I do? Shall I eat you? Please don't. <laughs> I jest. You do not look appetizing. Another under a carrot ought to do. In exchange, I can grant your wishes, those related to horses at least. You grant wishes? Yes, I can re revive royal steeds that have died or enhance horses' abilities. But if you want me to use my powers, bring adequate compensation. Bring food. I don't want just any food either. Yes, that Endura carrot you gave me was tasty enough. But you, you don't only eat carrots. Hey, your food is better, isn't it? I want some of those. What are they called again? Meals. Bring me some of those and I'll grant you your wishes. Uh, what? 
Why are you looking at me like that? This is not about me wanting to eat tasty meals. I say this for your sake. The god of horses cannot revive on an empty stomach. Generation after generation has repeated that saying. It means that if you want me to enhance or revive a virtuous steed, you must give me food. Now then, what brings you here? What do you need? So I don't think we have any horses to revive. Luckily, currently, as far as I'm aware, all of our horses are alive and well. So let's try to enhance a horse. Hmm, it seems this will not be possible. You can see the reason for yourself. Or must I explain everything? Choose a loyal steed to receive my blessings. So I can't upgrade Sky. Or can I? Oh, because I don't have copious fried wild greens. Okay, so I guess I could try that. Oh, and with these different ones. Okay, so for strength, it's copious fried wild greens. For speed, it's salt grilled greens. Uh, stamina, it's herb saute. And then pull, it is veggie rice balls, which I don't have any of those. So I guess if I could go back and make some food, we could get this done and we can increase uh, the abilities of Sky. So I guess if I choose it, you know, you didn't bring enough food, did you? It merely slipped your mind, I'm sure. In any case, I cannot enhance horses without adequate nutrition. So I can't really do too much to increase any of you. I mean, there was Sky and there's Sky Jr. over here, then George. Uh, but I think that we'll back out. Do you have any other business? Uh, for now, no. Well, goodbye then. See ya. <laughs> it's great that we met Melania though. That was such a cool experience. So before we you know, get too crazy with that, there is of course that little fire way over this way that we passed that should allow us to cook a little bit. I'll head back over there and we'll make those four recipes so that we can improve the abilities of Sky. Okay, so we're back here at the, the little uh, cooking pot and for copious fried wild greens, as far as I understand, it is just four different vegetables or herbs um, all cooked together. So maybe I could do something like this I'm just really trying to think on the different things we have. We could try an Endura Carrot, but maybe I'll do a Herb like that, a Silent Princess, and then maybe a Stam Bulb. We'll see if that's maybe enough to make it. That's Steamed Tomatoes. So maybe the tomatoes wouldn't be a good idea with that. So we'll try a Stam Bulb, uh, and then maybe like Saflina, Warm Saflina, something like this. That's not what I wanted. Okay, whoops. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I wanted to cook all that. I don't know if maybe I was holding something that could be cooked. I need to get more of these other ingredient types, I feel. Um, might be something I'm struggling with. Uh, cook. Wasn't quite close enough before. Copious fried wild greens. A healthy dish made by cooking mixed greens over a strong flame. So for the next one, stock grilled greens, we need to cook any vegetable, herb, or flour with a, uh, with salt. So if we have some salt around, which we do, we have so much salt, I can do something like this and we can make these salt grilled greens, a health boosting dish made with the leafy greens and a touch of salt. Very nice. So this next one's a little bit tricky. It is the herb saute, which specifically needs Goron spice, which luckily I have one of, and then just combining that with any herb. So over here, I got the Hyrule herb again. Let's try that out. And that should make the herb saute, a fragrant mixture of herbs and spices. It's easily recognizable by its unique aroma. And then lastly, we have the veggie rice balls. With that, I think I just need to combine the herb with some rice. So down here, I have the Hylian rice, not the Devantha wheat. Um, combine those two things and boom, we get veggie rice balls, which aren't new. We've gotten these plenty of times from things like Addison. So that's one of each. I should be able to run all the way back over there and help out with um, improving Sky a little bit more with that. I don't think it'll max everything out. I don't know how many stars is required for that, but I figure progress is progress. All right, we're talking to Melania again. Hey, buddy. Oh my. That is still so scary. Ah, it's you. What brings you here? I'd like to enhance a horse. So, choose a loyal steed to receive my blessings. Of course, it's Sky. Um, and with this, we'll first try the copious f fried wild greens for strength. Do I like to enhance its strength? Yes, please. How delicious it looks. For that, I will be happy to enhance your horse's strength. Ready, set. Oh my. Ah! This is a cool dance. Why did they have to be so scary? There we go. Strength is now three stars. I enhanced its strength. Your horse's constitution will now be more robust, its body more resilient. It seems pleased with its new abilities. Okay, cool. So if we go back to Sky, we can upgrade it again, but we'd need multiple uh, recipes here. So this is where it's like, I'd like to save some of that for later, I think. But now we can at least increase the speed of it with the salt grilled greens. Let's go for it. By turning into speed, yes, please. How scrumptious that looks. Yes, this will be sufficient for me to enhance your horse's speed. Ready, set, 
Will be the same dance again? I think it will. We'll see it one more time, but then after this, maybe I'll start skipping it. <laughs> I like it. Very cool. But there we go. The speed is also going up. Mm. Enhance the speed. Your horse, will, your horse will now be able to run farther and faster than ever before. It looks excited to go for a gallop. Okay, cool. Keep going. So the next upgrade, once again, requires quite a lot. Some of it we have. Um, the stamina upgrade requires herb saute. Mm. Yep, I'd like to increase his stamina. Mm. In exchange for this appetizing meal, I will enhance your horse's stamina. Ready, set. I guess it's not a long dance. We can enjoy it one more time. Okay. So, three stars for stamina for Sky. Mm. I enhanced his stamina. Yours should now be able to dash more often without tiring out. It looks quite grateful, too. Mm. Alright, and then lastly, we can upgrade the pool with the veggie rice balls. Mm. Mm, that looks delicious. Very well. I will enhance your horse's pool. Ready, set. Here we go. Doing a crazy little dance, and boom. We get ourselves a third star for the pool. I enhanced its pool. Your horse will now be able to drag heavier objects. Look at it proudly flexing its muscles. All right, well that's everything we can do when it comes to increasing horses stuff, but it looks like it can go all the way up to five stars. So if we really wanted to slave away here and make a bunch of food and really you know, push things to the limit, we could eventually, maybe one day if you guys wanna see it, but for right now, I think we're, uh, Doing good. See you, Melania. It was nice meeting you today. Let's go ahead and explore some other stuff. I feel like the next thing I want to do is go to that Gulch entrance and fight that Lionel for that one quest and see if we can't get a Lionel horn that way. I think we already have one, but I think I only have one of the Lionel horns. If I take a look like this by Fuse Attack Power with the Silver Lionel Saber Horn, like these are great, but I want to keep one of everything at the least. At least that's my goal, my, my goal with most things. So like, we have the Mace Horn. Interesting, wait, white maned Lionel and then the silver Lionel. Okay, cool. But uh, like I said, I want to keep one of everything if possible most of the time because I'm silly like that. But uh, so if we could just defeat another Lionel. Okay, hold on. Try to get them. We do have some monsters with this little skull thing. So I would like to, oh no, not get into too much trouble here. But oh, that definitely did a number. Some of them not inside though. So we'll have to go deal with them. I have my master sword here with. um. The big spike ball. Oh, I dodged it somehow. So I'm just trying to slice away at you. Oh, so far not going so bad, but a lot of them are coming and they're really, really not happy with me. So if I could just, uh, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> it's actually not so bad there. Here we go. Here we go. That might hurt me too. Luckily, somehow it didn't. Um, sort of grab all these goodies, then turn back around and find out where that silver moblin went. Oh, there they are, there they are. Okay, ready? Boom, that's gonna destroy my bow, but that's okay. We will switch back over to our weapon and I will just start. Ooh. Okay, I dodged it, that's really nice. Now we can maybe finish you off. The Master Sword, of course, is pretty strong, but. Oh no, don't fall off, no, my free stuff! All right, well, uh, I don't think there's much we can do about you. You are continuously falling. Um, I guess I could try this out. Uh, this is a very weird situation. Um, gotcha. <laughs> All right, that should count as this area completed. I don't know if that gave me a treasure chest or something. It does. Cool. I would have loved to got get those silver moblin items, but I think they're gonna fall down to the mysterious abyss below. That surrounds all of Hyrule for some reason. But uh, I guess I'll grab all of this stuff as soon as I can, and we'll head inside. Okay. More stuff to grab over here. Lots of stuff, even a zap shroom, which we don't run into too often. And let's open up this treasure chest. There's gotta be something good in here, right? Guess we'll find out. We get the spiked iron ball hammer. 42 damage with attack of plus eight is actually really nice. And I think because of that, I can probably just drop one of these, right? Uh, Sure, I'll drop this one. We'll see how that goes for a bit. But we gotta keep moving. All right, so let's see what we got going on behind this giant skull tower, if anything. I mean, it looks like there might be stuff on top of it too. So maybe I should just check really quickly to see if that's the case before we continue on. Because like I said, I wanna find that Lionel, beat that guy up a little bit, that'd be fun. I definitely should change my gear up here. Um, 
Yeah, let's do that now. Just so that if we get into a fight, we can be ready for it. Doesn't look like there's too much over here. So where exactly were we headed again? If we, we zoom in here, it was the Tempest Gulch over there. So we have to sort of adjust a little bit, move towards that green uh, pinpoint that we have. Yeah, I figure we'll just do a little bit of exploring for the rest of today. Try to figure all that out, get that one side quest done. I feel like that'd be pretty fun. So, is this Tempest Gulch? I mean, sort of, kind of. It looks like you know, things go on beyond that too, but not quite seeing this Lionel just yet. We'll have to keep looking around for it, but over here we have this big tree with, whoa, a silver moblin boss. Oh man, that's a lot of enemies and they all look really tough. How do I want to do this? I mean, I could just try to go for you straight away. It's going pretty well. Um, and then maybe finish it off with something real nice. If I could just... Oh, I thought that would hit all of them. It did not hit all of them. Uh, no, 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 wait, wait. Okay, I lost my golden health there. A little unfortunate, but let's try to back things up a little bit. Because if I could just get some friends to help me out here and then call over the rest of them. I don't know if that's actually gonna work or not. There we go, I got one of them sent flying. I want you, there we go. Lightning attack would be really nice right about now because I can just, their defensive uh, form form there is really impressive, but it won't last them long, that is for sure. I'm gonna knock out some of the little guys because their attacks can still hurt quite a lot. One more time, one more time. Got it, okay. So now I'm gonna go for the Dazzle Fruit to maybe just make them stun for a bit longer if that didn't really work because they were already knocked out. Try it again. There they go. They had to get back up to be hurt. So silly. So let's try the Soldier 4 Blade. And then I'm, I might just wanna spin on them a little bit. Ready? Ooh, here I come, here I come. And they're just trying to pick up their weapons for the time being, so. Ooh, come on. Super slam like that. That actually knocked them out really, really well. Just a little bit more. Jump over if they attack me. They didn't even. So I can knock them out and then another jump slam for you, right? There we go. We did great with this fight. A lot of arrow shooting for sure. But uh, overall pretty nice. Um, I'm gonna charge you over there because I didn't really mean to do any of that. But look at all these monster parts. Oh my goodness. So useful to have all these. Um, a lot of stuff I don't really need too much of. But I should probably start combining some stuff here. I've been meaning to for a while. So if I could just... You know, pick up what's useful. Do I have anything less than 59? I mean, I have this. I'm just gonna drop that one then and then pick up this Royal Shield. I know the Ruby is still on there, but I mean, I guess I should do the Stone Talus one then instead because I can pay that one person to remove them back at Terrytown and then just sell it. And that should make us more money than it would cost to remove it. Is there anything on top of this tree, by the way? Maybe another rock that I can get a Korok seed off of? There's not. Okay, I wonder why they were protecting this area then. Maybe some future monster plans. Ooh. I don't see too much else going on around this little lake though, so I think we're good to sort of just move on. But like I said, since I have to do some weapon combinations, maybe I should just worry about that now if we do it by uh, damage. What do we have? We got, of course, the silver boss, Boca One Horn, so I can drop that one and maybe attach that to like a soldier spear. I thought that'd be really nice. So fuse, got it. Very powerful. And then this Traveler Sword with the extra durability can definitely hold something powerful. Let's try the Silver Lizalfos one. So I will drop that and same thing. Give it a good fuse. Now we're really moving with a lot of that. Taking a look at the map to see exactly where we are. The Tempest Gulch is right over across this path. So I figure we'll try to get over to it. What is going on with this log? I've never seen a log that looks like this before. This is really weird. Uh, huh, that is weird. I don't know what's up with that. Um, is this like a Korok seed thing? Who knows? But over here, what do we got going on? Oh, is this that one? I know that we, I think we found it in Breath of the Wild. Wasn't there like a lake that was shaped like a heart? I don't think that's this. Oh, there's some. Silver is off those enemies. We could restore the one. Oh no. Oh, gotcha. At least a little bit. Come on, keep swinging at you. Give you everything I got there. But let's switch over to our new spear here, the Silver Ball Spoko Hellbird. Really hit you with that one. 
Okay, let get that arm around too. And then just keep going at you. We almost have you defeated right there. And then this blue one really shouldn't be too much work. Yeah, two shots is all I need for that. So pick up all these goodies for sure. And you just had a little boomerang there, so I don't really need that. Uh, ooh, there is a shrine going off, but I do know of which one it is. It's this green one, so I'm already heading over there. Not too much of a, a big deal. I figure we'll get over there, defeat the Lionel, maybe grab that shrine. I just don't see the Lionel yet, and this dips down really far, whoa. Way farther than I was expecting. Okay. Interesting, I think on top of there, that's a Korok seed for sure. But where is the Lionel? I wonder what kind of Lionel it's gonna be this time. I see why it's called the Gulch now. Maybe I should get the shrine first. Just in case the worst happens, I can come back here without too much of an issue. I'm gonna get rid of you, just for the sake of it. Um, Tulin, if you wanna push me over here, we'll get this figured out. So this place looks really intense. But here we are at the Kama Tuka Shrine in Deepakala. A precise strike is what we need to focus on here for the Kama Tuka Shrine. Hmm. How do we get about that? Um. Whoa. Okay, so that launched the ball up in the air, right? Oh no, that reset it. Uh, okay. Interesting. What does this do? Um. Oh, wait a minute. So if I were to go like this, and just let it, boom, knock it over. Oh, I see. And then at that point, it's sort of like golfing. It is, it hopefully it goes down the course the way you intended it to. And I think it might. Oh no, wait, wait, you went back out. Hey, you get back in there. It was almost in there. Let me try again. Okay, so pull this all the way back. And it's, it's sort of on a ball joint, so it's very easy to sort of get out of center, I should probably change my positioning then. But as long as the you know the momentum is forward, you would think it'd roll in there no problem. Ah, oh, but not quite, not quite. Okay, we're gonna try again. I am going to go from here, pull it all the way back and all the way up. Try to center that up as much as I can. Let it rip, and much better, but that one block is still sort of in the way. It doesn't matter too much, as long as it could just get into the, come on, yes, there we go, we got it. Excellent, so that's gonna open the exit already if we wanted to leave, but obviously we wanna do more than just that. I think there's another room to our left, but why was there a ladder down here? Okay, well, that's why there's a ladder. Not too much to do, <laughs> so I will leave that. I don't think we can make that jump over there, unfortunately. That would make the, the quest way too easy. Let's try going over here and see what the goal is with this one. I guess, yeah, we'll be able to open our way to a treasure chest if we can figure this one out. So we must attach it like this. Now I'm guessing with this one, we don't wanna go full all the way back. Oh, maybe we do actually. Will it reset by itself? I guess it won't. So I'll have to walk all the way over, hit it back over. Here, <laughs> hold on, um, try that again. No wait, let it swing back, and, no come on. <laughs> there we go. I will line this up one more time, but really, you know, to send it flying over, right about now. Hey, not bad, that was actually really, really good. So that'll open up that treasure chest, no problem. And we can get the reward for this area, so. I will happily grab this, if it lets me. There we go. And we get the Mighty Zonite Longsword. Ooh, actually really worth having. So if we can drop something over it, I will. Um, I think at this point, I mean, the Rock Sledge would be nice to have around. I don't think I need the Ruby Sword, right? Hmm, I don't know. Uh, Maybe I'll drop the Gloom Sword. We could probably run into more eventually. I'll do the Rock Sledge, Never mind. We'll just do the Rock Sledge. Why didn't that work? Oh, maybe I can't drop it in this room for some reason? I'll try that one more time. That was odd. Uh, There it goes, just the angling was weird. So there we go, we get something. I can fly up here just to make sure there's not anything else, but I'm not seeing any other weird hidden treasure chests or anything like that. So I think we're good to head out of here and finish the shrine. This will also be our fourth orb, so we could upgrade either our health or stamina soon. That sounds like a pretty good deal, but for right now, we're heading out of here. 
All right, so we're back out here. I really don't know where that Lionel's gonna be, but it's probably gonna be deep in the Tempest Gulch. I didn't realize this was gonna be such a involved area now that like we're sort of running through it, but if I can just find that Lionel and give it a good fight, I'd be happy, but it really could be anywhere. That's what makes me concerned, but I'm guessing, you know, right down this way or something. Probably one of the more open areas if I had to guess, but I don't quite see it. So I guess we'll run down this thing a little bit until we do discover it. Is that it? No, that's a that's a tree, that's a bush. Uh, um, but it could be further down that way. It could be further up here at Skull Lake. I wanna keep traveling down this way. If, if we need to, we can tr turn around. So, I, you know, eventually it's gotta pop up somewhere. I'd imagine it being at the entrance makes a little bit more sense because there's just more room to fight it there. That's sort of the one big thing about the Lionels is they need a lot of room to actually fight them. Hey guys, get out of here. Ow, <laughs> that hurt. Um, all right, well I might grab this later. I don't see, oh wait, I do see him, I do see him. Way in the distance over there, I do see a Lionel. So let's see, let's make sure that's a Lionel I've gotten photographed. It's, it's just a normal Lionel. We don't have one of the non-special versions, so. Not the best photo, but at least we got a photo. Then I can run up there and deal with it in a moment. Okay. I'll try to be real careful here because, I mean, I have weapons to really give it a hard time. But I would still rather not have a hard time. It's gonna probably try to fight me here in a moment. If I could be sneaky, hide behind some trees. Somehow they don't notice my entourage of like, you know, five different friends. Did they see me? Behind the tree. Okay, ready? Oh, it definitely sees me now, but maybe I could just, ah! Uh, wait, wait, wait. Gotcha, okay, run up there fast, and if we can hop on top of you, we can do a lot of stuff here, because I have so much stamina. Gotta press the right button, switch to a stronger weapon than this. Uh, what's my strongest thing here that I got? Uh, let's try this. I don't know if, actually, did these work? Okay, if these work, then let's just try the silver light. Let's, let's just go like this, so 74 damage. I mean, it still has so much health. Okay, yeah, help me out, help me out. Ooh, run away. And then, got you with that hit. That means I can jump back over um, and then try to hop on top of you. There we go, there we go. And just keep going, keep going. That worked pretty well. It's running away now though. Um, run away, run away. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. Oh man. Jeez, that was crazy. Uh. Oh no, 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 wait. Ah, okay, that was a bad idea. Luckily not hitting as hard as the silvers. Oh my gosh. But it definitely still has a lot of health. Um, Here's our chance, here's our chance. Just to swing at you. Okay, this is a gloom one. That's why it does so much damage. Okay, I'm able to get hurt again. Let's eat some food. Now's a great time to do that. Uh, we're getting where the food is. Uh, Eat this up so I can get a full health refill, but it's not, I still have the gloom. Whoops, right about that. Okay, it's fine. Okay, couldn't quite get the dodge of my dreams there, but it's enough to defeat you, so I will gladly take it. Awesome. So the Lionel get knocked down here. See you, buddy. What are you gonna drop? We got the soldier's claymore, the Lionel bow. Very cool. Glad to get that picture. And then over here, I got the Lionel mace horn. I don't know if we can picture any of this other stuff. Just arrows, uh, Lionel Saber Horn. So yeah, let's pick that up. The Lionel Saber Horn. This blade-like Lionel Horn is extremely sharp. It increases a weapon's attack power when attached. Cook it with a critter to make an elixir. And of course we have the Lionel Bow, 10 times three, a Lionel-made bow crafted from rough metal. True to the vicious nature of Lionel weaponry, it fires a spread of multiple arrows at once. Ideal for taking down quick moving targets. And then, um. Over here, we have the Lionel Mace Horn, a hard curved Lionel Horn. It isn't fully grown, but it can be attached to a weapon to increase its attack power or cooked with a critter to make an elixir. And then of course, this uh, Soldier's Claymore, which I'm already pretty filled up on items here. We could of course explore more of Skull Lake and stuff like that, but I'm, I'm sure we'll do that sooner or later. For now, I wanna go back to the East Akala um, stable and catch up with that one person. Okay, so let's see exactly what the goal was with this one. If I take a look, at our adventure log, strongest in the world. She believes a weapon made with a Lionel horn would earn the title. So I guess I just need to get one of my weapons and attach it with that newly acquired Lionel horn, which maybe since that was new, it'll just show up at the very bottom. I would hope so. 
Okay, so Saber, Lionel Saberhorn. If I hold this and then drop it on the floor, then I switch my weapons. What do I want to attach it with? I mean, for right now, might as well do this Gloom Sword. Like I said, I usually like to try to keep one of each thing, but for this, I need it for the quest, so. Hi. Hey, that weapon you're holding. Let me see it. Sure thing. Here you go. Looking pretty cool, right? That's no doubt about it. That's a weapon made with Lionel Horn. Nice and sharp, too. You could slice through anything with this baby. That settles it. This is the strongest weapon in the world. I'm honored that I got to see such a stunning weapon up close. Here, it's the least I owe you. Purple rupee, nice. Then again, the world's a big place. Who knows, maybe a stronger weapon is out there somewhere. Someday, I'll return the favor and show you a weapon of my own making. So strongest in the world, complete. You brought a weapon made with a Lionel Horn to Chabi at East Akala Stable. Satisfied, she declared this to be the strongest weapon in the world. All right, at my level, you can tell how strong a weapon is just by looking at it. And that Lionel wep weapon you showed me? That was the strongest weapon I've seen in all my days of looking at weapons. It inspired me to get out there, fight a big monster, and harvest its parts to use in my own smithing. Won't be easy, but if I train hard enough, I'm sure I can do it. I'm sure you could. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Obviously not even close to our strongest weapon, but pretty far up there. I mean, 63, we have 74 for the Silver Lysel Sphere, and who knows how strong we can make the Master Sword. So that was still pretty productive. We were able to get some stuff done here at East Akala Stable, and we met Melania the Horse God. So I feel pretty accomplished for today's episode. So with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.